Hi, I'm Monday Morkel for Proteas Unplug. Um, my two words for, for Smithy is the voice. I think, you know, he's a solid leader in a team that um, whenever the chips are down, you know, the way he speaks and, and, and handles the boys, you know, to pick them up from the dirt is unbelievable. You know, it's inspirational in team meetings and I always get goosebumps listening to it. Two words that come to mind when I think of Biff is caring and jaw. <laughs> Perfect way to describe Graham Smith for me as a role model. Strong. Uh, and determined. Fearless, um, you know, he always likes to lead from the front. And then the second one is, is really up front with you, you know, what you see is what you get. First one, brave, and the second one, mixture between a leader and a father figure, I guess. Intelligent and brave. Biggest jaw, and the thing that I respect the most about him is um, he never um, asks people to do something that, that he wouldn't do himself. Humble. Firstly, a word to describe large in stature as well as large in personality, whatever that word may be. Presence and leadership. Uh, horribly effective. Inspiring, larger than life. Colossal and playful. Say so humble and teddy. Respect and resilience. Definitely inspirational and the second one is noticeable. Firm and friendly. Imposing on the opposition and inspirational in our training room. Presence. Um, I think he has tremendous presence as a leader and the second one for me would be he always fronts up in everything he does. Lovable. He genuinely cares about his teammates and his friends and he's got a great laugh. <laughs> he's tenacious and humble. For a young guy he makes you feel like straight away like you fit in with him. Um, Really humble guy. Um. He's always a team guy. Um, look, there is a slight funny side to him, um, and I think that's what most guys enjoy. You know, his funny remarks, his funny chirps. One that comes to mind is definitely. Um, the Buffalo is um, over the years that you know I've been involved in this team. He actually he's become a, a real good friend of mine. Um, and I think he really has an interest in people's personal lives as well as their cricketing skills and their abilities to grow as a, as a cricketer. But I think his main contribution is, um, is how much uh, interest he shows in your personal life. Um, and uh, there's not many people that do this in this cricket environment. People come and go and, uh, and that's one thing I really enjoy about, uh, about the skipper, Biff. With a really big heart, it shines through on the field through you being the courageous warrior, the man for the big moment, the leader of men. And off the field it shines through your loyalty, your genuineness and your real affection and caring and concern for other people. He always puts the team first. No matter what decision he makes, it's always about the team. Smithy has a great heart. Um, there's been certain times in my life when I've run into a bit of, a bit of trouble and uh, Smithy was one of the few guys who stood up in those times of trouble and helped me out. So I'll always be grateful to him for that. He's just a good listener, uh, a nice guy to be around. It's, it's, uh, it's the kind of person that I always enjoy um, spending time with. He's very approachable. Um, he's a guy you can talk to at any time. He's always willing to have a conversation about anything. Probably the first guy that comes to you in the team and he makes you feel at ease. Um, he's such a great leader. Um, he inspires people. I think Graham as a friend, I, I really love his, his loyalty, his honesty, his ability to come up to you. You know, if there's a bit of a problem, uh, face to face and, and take it on like a man. He'll tell you up front straight that, listen, this is wrong, this is what you need to do. So I just think that he's, uh, as a captain, he's, he's honest to his players. When I'm in trouble, he's always there when I need him. Um, I, I think the way he's presented himself over the years is, is, a, is a lesson to everyone and I've learned a hell of a lot from him. He's a bit of a prankster and uh, very playful in the dressing room and loves to sort of hug the guys even though it sounds a bit weird. He's definitely been one of the most instrumental and influential sportsmen in our country. Graham has been one of those individuals who's always worn the Proteus badge with the passion and pride it deserves. And secondly, he'll put his heart, body, mind and soul on the line to win a match for his country. But all in all, you know, he's an amazing guy. Energy and enthusiasm he brings to the team. I think he's a captain that always leads from the front. He's a team player. Whatever you know, he's never selfish. Whatever he does is for the team. After feeling for about 140 hours, 
I wondered how is it to put your pads on and you know, face the quickest guys in the world. Um, and for me, that's what I respect most. You know, he's managed to, to do that for a good part of 10 years and the majority of his career. And to have the record he has and to, make the, to have made the big plays for the team the way he has, um, certainly a testament to his character. Smitty, when, when you retired, he's definitely going to have a go at, a, at pop idols, but I, I think more pop idols. He's the worst dancer in the team without a shadow of a doubt. Good sense of humour, so he's always good fun around the change room. He rates himself as a dancer and a singer, but he's, to be honest, very, very average at both of them. I'm not sucking Buffy off here, but um, yeah, it's been unbelievable in my career. I just want to thank you, Buffy, for being that inspiration and really backing me all the time. Wishing you all the best. Congrats on your 100th test match. I hope it's a special day. And just remember that uh, the Pro CR5 will be behind you and with you, you know, now until ever. Thank you. Smithy, I wish you an unbelievable 100th test match. I know it's also your birthday on that day. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing what sort of career you've had and uh, to, get him to gut. <laughs> yeah, Buffy, good luck with your 100th, man. Um, I've been with you for a couple test matches along the way. Um, never met a leader like you before who, when you talk, you command the respect and people listen. Um, you know, I'm just very happy for you. Uh, there's many people in this, in this country that are backing you and, and I'm another one of them. And you know, I'm just happy that I'm going to be able to share it with you. So congrats, buddy. Biff, uh, first of all, congratulations with your 100th test as captain for South Africa. It's, it's a massive milestone. and. We all as a team are very proud of you. Um, thanks for everything you've done for, for this team and for the country um, with your cricket. Uh, you're an amazing captain and it's, it's nice to, to have you as our, as our leader. My well wish for Smithy is twofold. One, off the cricket field and that is that he has more than five or six children, which I think his wife's very keen on. And the second thing on the field is that he plays for another seven or eight years. My wishes for, for Graham is that he just continues to have young daughters so that he has four or five young daughters in the future with his beautiful wife, Mob. I'm going to wish you well in your 100th test as captain. You're a great leader for South Africa, best captain we've ever had. Buffy, first of all, congratulations on your 100th test match as captain. Um, you've been a huge part in my career and it's been an honour to play with you. He's got great presence. I'll never forget my last series in New Zealand and we were one down in the series and he was captaining the team and he stood up and gave a five minute plea to the team that we uh, made sure that we didn't lose the last test match and he had tears in his eyes when he finished the, uh, his presentation and it really made me realize that this, guy, this guy's got something special to offer as a captain. I certainly wish for him true happiness and contentment in, uh, in his life and whatever he chooses to do. Buffy, your hundredth test, your the most successful ever, captain ever in the history of the game um, and you're exactly that to us. You are the best um, and we look up to you tremendously and thank you for leading us so well and uh, hopefully you can do it for a few more years to come. I'd definitely like to wish you know, to, for him to get to 10,000 runs and, and basically join the 10,000 club. He's successful um, in his life going forward and he has been um, you know, on the cricket field and, and the way he's lived his life. Um, you know, I have no doubt that he will be. Um, so I'm pretty sure my wish will come true. This is Moran Morkel signing out for Proteas Unplugged. Catch your shoot. There go again. The story about Graham was when we were actually in Sri Lanka, um, a couple of us got underneath the bed uh, and hid in his room. And the, the rooms are a little bit uh, dodgy there. And uh, actually, I got it wrong, it's in Bangladesh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Should we leave it at that? Two weeks to... Must I say that? Yeah? <laughs> two weeks to explain Graham, describe Graham. I think he was very brave taking it as a young age, so... Let me start that again, let me start that again. Congratulations on your 100th... Start, just start again, sorry. Okay. 100th, what, what is it? 100th system match as captain. Okay. Two words that... Hmm. Well, my wish is to wish him uh, a good, uh, successful 100th, 100th, 